Mike? If I may, um, if we can't consider any war articles that take out the undesignated fund balance until we know what's, how much is in there. And it has to be the cash portion, not the uh, taxes due portion. Right. Thank you. And we did get response from the assessing questions that we had on the consent agenda. Those have been forwarded to everyone. So one of the last questions is on um, the undesignated balances, the, undes uh, the unreserved funds. Do you know when we'll get that? Is Fred, Fred is back here. I'm sorry. Jamie, you've oblivious, you know. Here too. <laughs> no, you didn't have to move. It's just <laughs> he was hiding. From where I sit, he was no longer there. <laughs> I've been directed by my <laughs> boss to come back to you. <laughs> he sat there for anybody purpose. who listens to their boss. <laughs> I didn't hear that. When will we get that? <laughs> it will be in the audit, the designated fund balance will be the end of year designated fund balance and then you will have to take off the 500000 that the Board of Selectmen has um, yeah. voted to use to offset the tax rate. Plus there was a Warren article that uh, I think it was for the Grist Mill, the 400000 had to go back into. So I think it's going to be right about 4.5 is my best guess. Once I haven't seen the audit, but once I see the audit, my, um, the undesignated fund balance is at right about 4.5. And we'll see an accounting for that. Yeah. <coughs> when, when? I that gave it you a, an accounting of that back when. Um, but that's not that, like that's not confirmed at this point in time. Right. We asked for cash balance as well. When are we getting this report? Christy is saying that she has to wait until she gets the audit. So. Yeah. So, so that's from a year ago. Yeah. The that's fund balance from a from year ago. Year ago yes. And the fourteen. Yes. Should have been done That's last year. No, but I mean, we're going to be voting on warrant articles that relate to spending. I would think you'd want to know where is it mm. as of the end of 15. I We'd mean, like to know exactly what the auditors think at the end of 14. That would be so logical. Yeah. Yeah. This is town government. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, let's put That's it not to you. Plowed ground again. You know, yeah. we, just not, did this last we did it last yeah, Tuesday. Not to go on about this, we're going to deal with the Warren articles technically in 2016. Okay. And you'll have, you'll either have information at that point, Scott, or you won't. You'll, everybody will decide according to their principles okay. on how they'll vote. Um, Okay. So, did we get a date on? No, we did not. Get no, we, we don't have needed fund balance. We so don't have no. a date. Okay. So that is clear. So the expectation remains null and void. Well, or at least null. At this point, once the audit is in the hands and it is approved, then uh, we'll see some sort of accounting from Christie. Okay. <laughs> I will say that going this far out and having Warren articles that want to dip into these funds is putting those Warren articles to me in jeopardy at this point in time. You know, really, I don't know. We, I mean, I don't really care about, I mean, necessarily uh, the 014 audit in itself. The only one we need, we need a statement from Plotzik and Sons or whoever. Sanderson, or from Friend. Or uh, Sanderson. What the undesignated fund balance is right now and it's un unofficial because uh, you know the, the audit itself hasn't been released. I don't really care about a lot of five million. You said four point five million. That, four point five million. That, that's the number she mentioned a month ago. Yes. So it is. you're uh, right. When we talked to the board of selectmen. Talked about it. Yes.